Welcome back to the Engineerable channel and another Splatterball Gel Blaster upgrade episode. A lot of you have been asking me to show you how to add a hop up to the Splatterball SRB400 or even the 1200, which I'll do another video. The first thing I had to do was buy a good hop up. And some of the best hop ups on the market are the Riser V2 hop ups. They're difficult to buy though because they're mostly available in Australia and Asia. And so I was able to find this hop up on Zenduo and it's um, a rebranded Riser V2 hop up. It's the brand is U-Band Hop Up Master. Let's take, let's take a look at this thing. Take it out of the package here. It comes with an Allen wrench with a few little set screws and the device itself. So this device has two tongues on it. Most hop-ups only have one tongue, which is the top one that has some ridges on it to give the gel ball a backspin. This one has a bottom adjustable tongue too. So while you're pushing this down, you can also push this one up to kind of squeeze a gel ball up against the top and adjust the flight path. The set screws go in these holes and then this, these holes back here are to clamp the hop up to the barrel. There's a minimum depth that the barrel needs to go in. So the barrel needs to be able to go in just a little bit less than nine millimeters, 8.7 millimeters. That's as far as the barrel needs to be able to go in. This is the opening here on the side. And this is the part that goes over the barrel. There's set screws right here to attach the barrel. And there's set screws for up and down adjustment here. I've already opened up the blaster. So if you want to see how to open up your blaster, go check out some of my other videos. I have some very detailed videos about how to disassemble and reassemble your blasters. This is the T-piece right here and this is our barrel. I'm going to remove the gearbox from here for right now. Let's get out of the way. The barrel goes inside of the kind of muzzle attachment up here in the front. I'm going to mark the barrel at the location where it enters the plastic. So you can see there's quite a bit of space in there before it actually goes into something where it centers. The opening here in the plastic is about uh, 9.4 millimeters and then the barrel diameter is 9 millimeters. I recommend using some blue thread locker on all these set screws because if you don't they're probably going to vibrate out. So there's only four set screws and there's six holes here. I'm going to first see how this tight this feels on the barrel and see if it moves around the barrel or if it need to add some shims in there. Because right now without the screws in here, it seems pretty loose and I don't like that. I've, I would want that to be tighter. So I feel like I need to add some, some shims to it or some tape or something to make that tighter initially. So I want to see if I tighten this up what it's gonna feel like. So here's what I'm not crazy about is that when I do tighten it up, there's still a lot of side to side play and I don't want to tighten it up so much that I'm going to crush the barrel either. So I feel like I need to add some shims to this to make it a little bit tighter fit initially, even before I crank down on it. Since this hole is 0.4 millimeters in diameter bigger than the barrel, you need to find something that's about 0.2 millimeters in thickness or maybe 0.1, you can wrap it twice. This is 0.15, this is 0.2. So this would be like right on if it works. I'm gonna try this first. You could probably also try a soda can and cut a soda can into pieces. You can even just use regular scissors to cut a soda can.
Okay, with that shim, we've created a nice snug fit. There's no more wiggle even before tightening down the set screw. I feel really good about the connection of this hop up now to the barrel. It's super secure. It's not wiggly. Feels good. Okay, so now how is it going to fit in the blaster? So it's going out the end and we have to trim the orange piece here off. So we're going to have to trim the orange piece off right here. I'm going to cut that off with a saw. And be careful because there's not a lot of plastic supporting the barrel left anymore. There's just a little bit of plastic there supporting, supporting it. Then you can clean up the outside. Okay, so once it's cleaned up, it's going to look like this. The shim I added in here sticks out a little bit. I'm going to have to trim that down all the way so it's flush. So now the shim is flush with the hop up. There isn't a whole lot of support back here. It probably wouldn't hurt to wrap some tape around the barrel and make the barrel nice and tight in there. So before we said that the barrel had to go in the hop up about 8.6 millimeters. So that's about all that's sticking out there. Let's test it on here. Perfect fit. I'm going to wrap some tape around close to there so that it's going to nestle in right behind this and support it a little bit better. Perfect. But now I need, do need to trim the tape back here because it's touching the body. Once we put the body house back together, we might want to cut a little, out a little hole right here to line up with this screw so we can pass the hex wrench through to, to, to be able to tighten and loosen the hop up if you want to remove it for any reason. The top has um, plenty of space. Okay, so that feels good. This is what the hop up is going to look like coming out of the blaster once you put it all back together. The two remaining set screws are going to go in the front. Again, add some Loctite to those set screws so that they'll stay in the right place when you adjust them. Always make sure that you're using some blue thread locker on these screws. Otherwise, they're just going to vibrate and fall out and you're going to lose them. All right, that's it for the hop-up installation on the SRB400. If you want to see how to reassemble the blaster, go ahead and check out my other videos where I've already covered the reassembly of the blaster. There's a link up here. And also watch my next video where I tune this hop-up and see how well it improves the performance of this blaster. In this video, I've added the hop-up to the standard stock blaster. I'm also going to be adding a hop-up to my upgraded blaster, which has the metal gears and the stronger spring. And that one was plagued with inaccuracy when it was shooting close to 300 FPS. So I'm hoping that the hop-up will improve the accuracy of that blaster. See you in the next video.